M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Bofeng have released a new model, UV5RH Pro, and it's now Pro Max. 10 watt VHF, UHF, AM, airband receive. But if you look down here, we've also got 200 to 260 megahertz. UHF is 470 to 600. Then we've got the broadcast channel, 65 to 108. And at the bottom, the VHF handbands. Wireless copy feature as well. Now I have read some reviews where they're saying there is Bluetooth in this device, but I don't know about that. So let's just scroll down and look at some of the features. Here is the wireless copy. And you can bet that companies like Chirp eventually will bring this in underneath their umbrella and you'll be able to program it with Chirp. But both and always bring out software with every radio they release for, com for programming with your computer. Type C charging port says here PC, USB, vehicle and power charging. There you are, you do get a cradle charger with this device. I think it's a very nice looking device. I would say it's bigger than the Bofungs that we're used to, taller. Now, I have seen a similar radio, but not identical. The colors on this one seem, there's more colors basically. Scrolling up, there's your AM receive. I really like it, and I know that both are really fighting back against the Quashang devices. So you know what it's like, you can never have too many radios. Here's another one. I've got some other info on this as well. This is on the actual Bofeng site, so we're just looking at the different photographs that they have posted. And you can see there, it's called, this one's called the BF F8HP, but it looks... To me it looks the same, it might be slightly different. So check it out, I'll put the link in the description. It's a BTEC branded one. Anyway, I found that interesting. And this is the TRD Radio H3, which is it's not identical, of course. But it's similar, it's packed with features, airband, VHF, UHF, 220 megs, nice colour screen, uh, again frequency copy. And has this one got GPS? I don't think it's got GPS. Also found this site as well, some nice close-ups of it. The menu is like this blue menu, so I can find that. And there's your 10 watt max, of course every YouTuber will be testing this for the power and the, the you know, the, if it's got bad harmonics. There's your, there it is there. You've got this sort of blue and white menu, a bit like a DMR radio. So that's your location. So does this interest you? Do you think having too many radios lying around is pointless or do you just love being able to pick up? There's the old bow thing there, look. Do you just love being able to pick up, you know, as many radios just whenever you feel like it a bit like variety when you're eating I suppose you don't want to eat the same thing every day and uh, there's, there's a list here as well DTMF have a look at that little list and then we'll end the video emergency alert multiband 640 channel type C charging DTMF weather weather features that's handy in the USA FM radio CT CSS and then frequency copy which do we ever use that you can copy the frequency between two different radios oh we even got more detail here step one power on walkie talkie you can now seek the display show seek press two sorry step two press and hold the other walkie talkie transmit frequency and when it searches for another frequency from the menu to confirm i do i I mean, okay, great that they add these things, but it's very gimmicky, isn't it? Like, if you're that close to each other, <laughs> you just type it in. But, you know, maybe that's just me. I don't know. And, yeah, you can charge it from a power bank. Yeah, that's good. Definitely. Because with all our USB-C chargers now that we've all got. Speaker, I'm sure, will be nice and loud. And price-wise, you know, it's going to be... By the time it gets to your door, it'll be about 30 to £35. Pound. It is a more substantial radio than some of the, the budget ones around. Just checking out, there's your side key. SK1, broadcast FM and alarm key.
PTT flashlight AB menu what's that green one one touch search key oh they've got they've done it with a one touch accessory jack yeah your usual Kenwood style pins up and down and you've got a full keypad there I can see the alphabet as well yeah I I, I, I like it uh, but this one uh, this one's slightly different this one has got that quashang type knob let's look at the other one yeah they all have I can see it now thanks for watching my YouTube channel if you're finding my in videos interesting and helpful please like and subscribe and buy me a coffee and I will definitely buy a coffee 7-3